Welcome to eHub, a platform of online learning uh, for electrical engineering. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a half-wave rectifier in Multisim. Uh, you just uh, you can see the previous video to how to install and crack the Multisim software. J in order to design a half-wave rectifier in Multisim, you just need to double-click on the software. Uh, the, this page will open the design page. If you want to save it, then click on files, save as, desktop and name it whatever you want. For example, I want to design, uh, name it as design template. And press enter, so it is saved. After that, go to place, click on components and pick component first of all we need a source uh, you see power source click on uh, group sources and then pick power source from the power source pick AC power and you can uh, drag it and click where you want to place it and after that we need a diode then click on diodes there are multiple diodes available just pick one and four double zero seven place it now we need a load resistor go to basic and here are resistor capacitor inductors pick uh, click on resistor and pick one kilo ohm resistance click on that now all we need is ground so just go to all groups and search ground you can find the ground here or if you don't want to search just go to sources and then here is ground you can pick also a ground from also here so now we need uh, we have all the components we need just uh, assemble it and a nice arrangement is uh, rotate clockwise and complete the circuit just click on the component drag the mouse and then click on the other component you want to connect it with so here make all the connections and of course in the end connect the ground so now ac circuit is uh, rectifier circuit is complete so uh, to get into some basics this is the anode terminal of the diode this is cathode terminal of the diode when the voltage on this terminal which is anode get greater than or equal to 0.7 the diode conducts and uh, the AC wave will pass through the diode and for, uh, for the reverse bias case when there is negative voltage on the anode side uh, and positive voltage on cathode side uh, diode will be open circuit and don't, uh, won't conduct so uh, for example we double click on the power supply and we keep the RMS voltage with 12 volt peak and RM, uh, in order to convert the RMS into peak, we need a square root or you can take 12 volt RMS and uh, 50 hertz, uh, 60 hertz frequency, keep it as it is. Now we need to, uh, we want to observe uh, the output across the load resistor. Yes. Uh, sorry. Take oscilloscope from right side uh, right side bar of your multi-sim software. Place it. Connect the positive terminal across the load resistor uh, on the side of diode and negative with the ground side. And click on run. You can observe the half wave rectification. So. 10 volt per dvn means one box is equal to 10 volts 
and the positive uh, cycle is passing through the diode and uh, the negative cycle is chopped off because the diode is off for the negative cycle. If you want to design a rectifier with negative voltage then just reverse the direction of diode and now in this case diode will conduct when the supply has the supply provides negative cycle and will be open circuit when the supply provides positive side so it will be a negative uh, half wave rectifier and so now we have learned how to design a rectifier that will help a lot to the beginners because in, uh, you, now you can design a half wave rectifier of your own Thank you and best of luck.